As we start our sample today, the butterfly lace stitch, it looks better here in white. You'll see my sample come up in a few seconds where I use bulky yarn, which I think was a waste of time, but you may want to consider for this stitch is to keep your yarn more on the thinner side. This here is Karen one pound yarn in off white using a five millimeter hook. And you can see that with this color, it really does jump. The butterfly lace stitch. This one's a bit of a tough cookie to get into your head, but once you understand it, it should be easy going, but it may take you a bit there to, go, uh, to get there. So please don't give up on yourself. So if you really look at this one, I regretted using thicker yarn. So I think thinner yarn would be better. And if you look at it, it looks like butterflies are flying away. So it's a really neat idea. So um, we are going to demonstrate this today and we're gonna get started right now. To do this stitch, it's in multiples of 12 plus four. So no matter what you do, you're going to just go in sequences of 12 and then add four at the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Happy with the width, yes or no? If not, continue one, two, three, four, five, six, se six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Once you're happy with the width of it, you just have to add four more. So one, two, three, and four, and then you're ready to go across your first chain. Let's begin row number one. I find this stitch is easier if you put a really good foundation in first. So go second chain from the hook, so one and two, turn it over, get the back hump of the chain, and just single crochet. And I want you to single crochet all the way across on the back hump. And I'll see you at the end of the chain in just a moment. So I'm coming to the end of the chain. Yours will obviously probably be longer. And when you're ready, turn your work and let's begin row number two. And we're gonna be starting the butterfly immediately. To begin, you are going to chain one and single crochet in the very first one. Next, you're going to chain two and you're going to skip one here and go to the second over in single crochet. So this is like a buffer zone on the edge. You'll have a buffer zone on the other side as well. We're now going to start and do our butterflies. So to do that, you are going to skip three stitches, so one, two, three, go to the fourth, and you need to apply three trebles into that same stitch. So make sure you wrap that up twice and make that happen. So once, twice, and three times. But we're not done with this wing of the butterfly. We are going to chain three, so one, two, three, and in the same one where those trebles are in, you're going to single crochet and that forms the one wing. You are going to chain two and you are only going to skip one stitch here and you are going to single crochet on the other side. So we're going to create the next wing. So we have to start backwards on how we finish this one. So remember we chained, so we have to chain three. So one, two, three. And then in the same one that you have this in, you need three trebles. So we have one, two, and three. So there is your second wing. So this is the body that will happen next. And then you'll have the two wings. Back down here though, we're gonna skip the next three. So one, two, three, and you were going to single crochet in the next. And so this is considered one butterfly out of many that will be across. To start up another one, we're going to chain two, skip one and single crochet in the next and we're gonna start building another wing. So we are going to skip three stitches, one, two, and three, go to the fourth, and you are going to apply three trebles. So one, 
two and three. And what do we need to do? We need to get back down here. So we have to chain three and single crochet to complete that wing. So this is another body of a butterfly coming. We're now going to chain two, skip one stitch only and single crochet in the next. And now we have to build the other wing that goes with that one. So to start, we have to chain three, We're now going to put in three trebles into the same one where this is coming out of. So make sure you wrap the hook twice. So once, twice, and three times. So I'm coming close to the end, but you can go as many butterflies as you need to go. So you, you need to skip three and single crochet in the next. So if you had more to do, then you would chain two, skip one, single crochet in the next, and start building your next butterflies. But look at each, as each two as, as a body in order to keep it organized. Once you hit the edge like I am, just chain two and single crochet into the final. So you're skipping the next one and single here. And this is the base foundation to get, us, get ourselves started. Let's turn our work and do row number three. To do number three, we need to do a double crochet and a chain one space. But because of where we are, we have to chain four, which equals that. So we're going to do one, two, three, that's a double crochet. And the fourth one is a chain one space. This chain two space is where you wanna play and you're going to apply another double crochet right into there. To move along, and it gets really quite easy, is that you'll chain one and you will come into the space, it's almost like double or like corner to corner. This chain uh, space here is left. We wanna come right into the space on the top of that butterfly wing, single crochet in. And then we need to create the body of the butterfly. So to, before we do that though, we have to chain two and we have to put in uh, two together um, double crochet here. So we're just gonna wrap the hook, come right into this chain two space, pull through, pull through two and hold, yarn over, do it again. Pull through, pull through two and hold. Pull through everything and that is the body of your butterfly. You were then going to chain two and you were going to come to the top here. So this is the next part of the wing. See this chain space? Just treat it like it's double crochet and you're just gonna go right into the space. So here's the trick. Whenever you have the body, it's chain two to do the body and chain two after the body. That's how I remembered it. Now we're in between the two butterflies that you see. So we're now going to just chain one only and you're gonna to reach to this chain two space right here between the butterflies. You were going to double crochet chain one and double crochet back into the same stitch. So it's a V stitch. And after that's done, just chain one and then come into the top of the next butterfly that you'll run into. So it's the chop space here and single crochet. So how many stitches was it to get to the body? It was two, so it's two chains. You do your body with it together, double crochet. So it's two together. and then chain two after it. And then you come into the space that is existing at the top of the butterfly wing. So if this was going to another butterfly, you would chain one and just like we did here, so chain one, V stitch down into the next chain two space. So it's double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then chain one after it and move along. So if you can remember that, your life is laughing because this is consistent throughout the whole thing. Once you come out to the final edge, like I'm about to do, is that I'm only gonna chain one and I'm gonna reach for this chain two space here at the end and I'm going to double crochet, chain one, and I'm gonna go to the single crochet right here 
and just double crochet in. And so you can see that this row makes everything flat and you can start to see the butterflies are happening. So I'm gonna take you through two more rows because this is a repeat and then I'll show you how to finish. So let's turn our work and do another row and we're gonna start another set of wings. So let's do our next row. We're gonna create another pair of wings for each one of the sets that you see. And to start, we're going to chain one and we are going to single crochet in the first one. We need to chain two as always. And we come in after this double crochet, but before the wing, okay? Before the top of this wing, we come right here and we single crochet in. What I'm looking for is the space that is before the body of your butterfly and the space after. So we're going to apply the first wing into this space before the body. And we're going to apply three trebles to begin. So we have once, twice, and three times. Now we have the chain three and we have to not go in the body, but we have to go into the same space where the wings are. So once, twice, and three times, that's your chain, and you were going to single crochet into the same space of the, of the wings. You then have to jump to this space, but before we do that, we have to chain two, and then we single crochet into the space right here. So we're jumping completely over the body of your butterfly. We're going to start a new wing, so we chain three, and then put in three trebles into the same space. So we have one, two, and three. Now, there's the V-stitch that's coming. We need to land our single crochet before the V-stitch, so right into the space. We need to jump right over the V-stitch, so we're going to chain two and come into the space after the V-stitch, so we don't touch this V-stitch at all. So you can see a pair of wings went in on top of the other pair. So then you are going to restart again, so you're looking for the space before the body of your butterfly, and you start with three trebles. So we have once, there's two, and three, and then we have to come back down into the same space. So we're gonna chain three and land a single crochet into the same spot. We are going to jump over the body. So chain two and come into the other side, single crochet and complete this wing by chaining three first and putting three treble. So we just have to keep moving down the row because chances are you have a lot more than just two and you just have to keep adding them. So when you finish the wing, you are going to land a single crochet in before the V-stitch, chain two, single crochet after the V-stitch and then start your next butterfly. In this case, what I'm going to do is that I'm on the end. So in order to do this, I have to come into the space before the two at the end, so right here. I chain two, and you know how we chain four? Well, you're gonna to come to the third chain and leave that there as a single crochet, and that will keep your balance. So you can see now, you just had two sets of butterflies just put in if you're doing the small sample, and you can see a lot better in the white. So I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to show you the next row, and which is the repeat with what I've already showed you before. To start a new one, we're going to begin by chaining four. So one, two, three, and four. See this chain two space? That's your first double crochet right there. So you'll place in a double crochet into that same spot. This is considered a V-stitch. So like I said before, when it's a V-stitch, and you finished it, chain only one. And then in this case, we're gonna come into the top of the space for the first butterfly wing. And we're heading to the body next. So before we do the body, we always have to chain two and then do your two double, uh, double crochet together and stitch right into this chain two space. So yarn over, pull through, pull through two and hold and do it again. 
Once you're done, chain two, and then come into the top of the wing, of the next wing. Where you have a V-stitch that's coming, so just chain only one, and V-stitch into this chain two space that is between the butterflies. So you're going to double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. You will notice in this pattern, these V-stitches in between the butterflies will always look the same and the bodies will always line up on top of each other. So if you see, suddenly see a two together double crochet on top of one of these, you know that you're misaligned. Chain one to move on and you have the top of the butterfly wing, so just single crochet and we have another body. So we have the chain two before we start it and we're going to put in the body of two double crochet together into the body to make the body. Chain two leaves the body and we come into the top of the next wing and you just carry on with what you already know. So in this case, if you're leaving a wing, you're going to chain one, you'll put your V-stitch in, you chain one after it and then continue along. In my case, I'm coming closer to the end. So I'm gonna chain one and I'm going to come into this chain two space to start chain one and I'm going to come in to the stitch right here to finish to keep it as an equal stitch and that's how you do it. you're gonna do it so you're just gonna do this over and over and you'll see your wing is completely lining up to each other and my other sample is so much more bulkier that you really can't see it so you do want to select your yarn in a way that that makes sense let's turn it over look at the back so you can see. So it's pretty neat. What if you want to finish this? Well, you see how we started off with the solid line? If you want to finish this, all you have to do is just go across with what you already know. So if you knew that there was a chain two space or a chain one space, you're just going to put the number of stitches that you would have needed. So single uh, chain ones and single crochet in the first. We knew this was a chain one space, so we're going to make it as a single crochet in the space. We know that this is a real stitch. And we know that there's one stitch space here. One into the top here, the wing. And we knew that there's two chain two spaces before the body. So we have one and two. You have your body, so there's one there. And then you have your two after the body. And what you're doing is you're bringing your stitches back into alignment. One into the top of this one here. This is a V-stitch, so we knew that there was one single crochet, or one chain before it. You have the top of the V-stitch, the chain space in the V-stitch, the top of the next one here, and then the space. And you're just equaling out the number of spaces that you had. So if you wanted to apply this somewhere in your blanket, as long as your stitch multiples were accurate, then you can do something like this and eventually you'll come to the other side and there is a chain four space there so it just go into the space first and then go into the third chain and that will complete that and therefore you'll have your butterflies kind of resting and this will kind of sink in like that that's normal and you can always pull on it if you want to and give it a good pull you can block it as well and this would be the butterfly stitch